Hey, your daddy and your mama too. You got something better to do. Then stick around the house the rest of your life. You're 18, you can do what you like. You be the queen of my highway. My motorcycle mama, and we'll see the world from my Harley. We'll get matching jackets and helmets too. Get respect from the towns we ride through We'll sleep at a roadside in the soft green grass And in the squares won't buy We'll let them pass She'll be the queen of my highway My motorcycle mama We'll see the world from my heart And maybe in a year or two We'll have a little one She'll look just like you And I'm a sidecar, electric guitar We'll be a trio, the baby makes three oh Tell your daddy and your mama too You got something better to do Then stick around the house the rest of your life You're 18, you can be my wife You be the queen of my highway My motorcycle mama And we'll see the world from my Harley We'll see the world from my Harley We'll see the world from my Harley The chain don't break Live from Rivia Beach You got it There's a whole bunch of bikes coming in on the line right down there right. Yeah okay. King, New Hampshire, uh, with the MGM Board of Directors, and we're uh, promoting for our uh, show we have coming up Memorial Day weekend in Colbysville, New York. And uh, we have a three-day event there with some uh, top fame rock and roll, camping on site, and uh, if we can get the weather that they have here this weekend, 
We'll have ourselves a winner. This is uh, quite a day. It's a pleasure to be out here. Want to say anything for the Fat Bob Holly Davidson show in Somerville, Massachusetts? I, thought, I think I saw one of those, uh, one of your uh, shows before, I believe, uh, with Tattoo Bob. I think he might have been involved on air. There was it. Got you Tattoo Bob ready. Uh, as a matter of fact, Bob did uh, put this piece on me here. And I'm uh, very pleased with his work. And I did see uh, I did see a segment of your program from a Tattoo Bob Ready. Thank you. on this, you can contact me. Uh, area code 617, number 826-4194. Where are you going? King Swap. Where? The King Swap. In the rain, huh? Absolutely. Well, 101 goes right into King, right? We're right here, right now. Yeah. Uh, 
just goes with this. About 100 miles. Whatever. Yeah. Ah, it sucked though. There's no way we're going to order. It's going to be a Dunkin' Donuts on this side of the street. Alright. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah. 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 I had trash bags on me, and the last just came up, and all the water went down inside my boots when I got off the bike. Well, we haven't gone that far. Right? The riding's great. The riding, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Pocket. You want 
so it's a little blocker. Can you put something behind the blocker so you don't? I did it by hand, that's why it's falling off. smoke cleared, there was no doubt in anybody's mind who the top burnout butt kicker was that night. I was just glad I got to see it. There ain't nothing like the women you see in Daytona.
this is going to be one long ride home. from Louisiana. We stopped at a McDonald's and we had the new McSwagger booger. Now, we ordered it, we paid it for it, and somebody else ate it for us. And we got to watch. And we got to watch at the new McSwagger. Jim and Tammy Baker met right here at Sturgis 50 years ago. <laughs> they were both dating the same guy. <laughs> Like to go over to Oral Roberts' house. Has anybody ever heard of Oral Roberts in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Oh yeah, you go over to his house and you meet his mom and she says, this is my oldest son, Oral. This is his son, Richard. Don't call him Dick. He's embarrassed. This is our daughter, Virginia, right over here. Uncle Anal's coming up from Penis, Oklahoma, and I'm in. Has anybody ever been to Penis, Oklahoma? Home of Foreskin Roundup Days, yeah. You got it right down there, man. It's a growing event. A three-day event, man. It's a three-day event trying to stretch it to four. Now it's time to say goodbye to Jim and all his kin. They're mighty glad you folks keep sending all that money in. You're all invited back next week to this locality. And watch Jerry Farwell take away their keys. And watch Jerry Farwell take away their keys. Take your clothes off, stay well. Those goddamn crazy Christians. Oh, yeah. One of the real eye catchers at Sturgis is Boobs for Bucks. But don't mess with the cameraman. But you want to try me? of a motorcycle and the men and women riding a brotherhood dedicated to the pursuit of freedom happiness and a wild ride rumbling between their legs almost 200,000 strong bikers from around the globe converge on this tiny western town every year to rendezvous in the style of the mountain man of the old west to trade lines and swap stories about the bond that draws them near the passion for their bikes and the lifestyle that surrounds them Wildest party ever. You're on the road to Sturgis, just outside the historic frontier town of Deadwood, running through the Black Hills of South Dakota, the wildest road trip of the year. We think they tunnel, we come to Sturgis. That gives us a good reason to come out west. It's one of the gatherings for Harleys. If you don't come to it, 
You're missing out. Of course, we had to wait in Mississippi to get here this year. We tread water pretty good being from the Florida Keys. We hit snow. We hit hail. Everybody's a fever. They all started coming to Sturgis. And the heavens, he couldn't quit. This is what's happening, man. We came out here on a sportster. 1,800 miles. The brothers, the sisters, the friends. And now we're here. We come from Ohio. We came down the road 1,500 miles. We're having fun now. I always look forward to this every year. It's great. Uh, a beautiful place, and uh, there's no other place in the world you see this much going on. This is great, Harley Davidson, Wolf's Wall Wall. Anything, you see him, you got him, here they are. This year, the 90th anniversary of Harley Davidson, and nowhere is it celebrated in the style it's done here. Pan head, knuckle head, shovel and block, and every style and configuration imaginable. Harley Davidson is Sturgis, and Sturgis, the hard rules.
this toy ride every year it's to to, it's to uh, collect toys for the Marines Toys for Tots campaign. Um, a few years ago, 1989, uh, a little girl was riding on this ride with, with her father and uh, the motorcycle got rear-ended by a drunk driver and she was killed in that accident. So we now call this the Lacey Packer Memorial Toy Ride in, in, in memory of that little girl. Um, what else can I say about that? <laughs> Well, how many uh, bikes turned out? Well, the, the number of bikes varies considerably from one year to the next, primarily due to weather. On a, on a colder day like today or a fallow weather day, uh, fewer people come out, but, but even then people come out. On a fair weather day, we can have upwards of uh, uh, three, four, or 5,000 bikes. Uh, I, I heard a rumor that the year after Lacey was killed, they had 6,500 bikes on the ride. That was, that was before I belonged to the group, so I can't, can't say for sure. But. I'm hoping we'll have several hundred bikes here today. And what do you do? Do you raise money with the patches for a certain cause? We, we raise money for the pa with the patches for uh, Lacey Packer's brother. We're, we're buying safety uh, U.S. savings bonds to um, make a college fund for her brother. That's what the money goes, goes for. Um, okay. Right up there. Put those bikes out right there. Right, right, right straight down. This is like one of the rockets. Come on, your footage. Yeah. What's it all about here? What's it all about? We give it to the kids for Christmas. And supplying the kids with uh, either toys or, or some money so they can help out with food or something like that. That's what it's all about. Give them for Christmas. But uh, some of us have got so much that we can, you know, give a couple of dollars or, you know, a toy or something. And that's nice. It's nice to be able to give on a seasonal basis, you know? Good. Oh, we're at the Lacey, what? what's the name of this thing? Lacey what's the name of it? Lacey Packer Memorial in Wogan. Uh, this is Fat Bob from the Fat Bob Holly Davidson Show. Obviously, you must know, you've seen my show before. And uh, this here run here we got going uh, today on Sunday is for the uh, Lacey Parker, that uh, little girl that died from a drunken driver. Uh, it was a sad thing, and uh, once a year we get together and uh, sell patches, raise a few uh, dollars to help support her brother and part of her family, and they also bring some toys. Uh, you'll see uh, along as we're doing it, some guys dressed up a little bit like Santa Claus. I guess that's for the toys, uh, the toys run, the toys are tots, whatever it may be. But anyway, here we are at the uh, Leach Mall, Wall, and uh, I'm bringing it to you for all the people that didn't make it. To tell you the truth, you should make it. If you didn't make it this year, come out next year. And sometime, I believe, in December, there's a toys for fun one. That's, uh, I think it goes as far as up as uh, me. Anyway, I'll give you more information now on the show. And here we go.
because you wanted to check out what these funny Christians are all about. Well, we're weird. Jesus, baby, Jesus. About 12 years ago, um, I became a Christian in, in state prison, and so we started a biker ministry in our church, and uh, we just, just started riding bikes all over, telling people about Jesus, cruising around, having a good time, and instead of just going around and thumping on people's heads, we went around telling people the good news about Jesus. Most of the people that ride in our club, I'll tell you, have an alcohol, drug background. A lot of them come out of prison. A lot of, a lot of them just on the streets. It's a lot of them are really violent, man. I got kicked, I got kicked out of my house when I was about 12 years old, and I went and started running around with the Outlaw Club. Very angry against people in the world around me. A lot of violent acts. After several rehabs, trying to get my life straight and this and that, nobody could help me because, you know, I mean, I didn't want help, basically. We were able to reach them because of our image of uh, kind of hardcore monster type guys. But then they saw we had a softness to us because we cared about people and we loved people. So most of them right from the streets, man, right from the hardcore areas. Usually when guys like us walk up to somebody, they're so pleased we're not going to beat them up. They're grateful to get a little piece of paper from us. These guys were general, generals in Satan's army. Today, you probably take them home for dinner. Five years ago, they'd probably take you for your dinner. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Our club's really put together to, just to help people. We feed the homeless. We go out and take clothes to people. We try to reach out to the neighborhood here. Jesus died for you. Jesus loves you. And man, we're out here partying, having a good time. Not on our own strength, but on Jesus' strength. Because 
We're just like everybody else. We're sinners, but we've been forgiven by Jesus. Pastor Phil gets out and reaches out to all these people, you know, that they think that they have no other way out. Because Jesus worked in his life, he works in our lives, and we go out and we minister to these other people in the world. And we just thank you by faith, knowing, God, you've done a great group of miracle works here today. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. You only get one shot when you're riding down the highway. That's how it is in life. You got one shot, man. You don't give it to Jesus, baby. You burn like a sausage on a Sunday morning forever. Oh, yeah. That's, Jesus' plan is to bring us all together. Especially the bikers, we all have a common bond. We all like to ride. Being in the wind, man. Having your hands up in there, flying tattoos to Jesus, man. Big smile on your face, high on the Holy Ghost, man. There's nothing greater in the whole wide world.